and welcome back to Sly Cooper, the Thievius Raccoonus. I remember! You got it! I'm <laughs> proud of you! I'm really proud of you. It's a very difficult name, that's for sure. <laughs> I just keep forgetting the Thievius part. Yeah, the Thievius <laughs> Raccoonus. I remember Raccoonus super well. <laughs> yeah, Raccoonus is easy. It's Thievius that's hard. Yeah, I can't just... Re I, for some reason, my brain refuses to remember that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. No hugs. But hugs! But they, they feel so cold. I want a hug. Be cold. And oh, miserable. No, but I want a hug. I feel cold. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Barbosa? I I glad I made the reference. I did it, guys. I made the reference. My brain just like started wigging. Cause uh shit, I can't explain that on camera. Fuck. Cut this out, please. Oh okay. I just need you two to know. Okay, we should be back now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry, I a, it, but the joke was with the name of a person in my life, so I'm like, oh no, I can't share it on camera, but That's the personal, funny! <laughs> personal information. Because <laughs> I, 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 I care for their, their, their privacy. Yeah. We try and for my own. We, <laughs> you we guys probably are like scary ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> Find out anything. <laughs> we try to be. Uh, we're so bad at it. <laughs> we're bad at it. I try to center as much as I can, but I think there's been a few times where I like, oh. let stuff slip under. They're hoodoo lasers. Like <laughs> Sunshine's name that one time. The one time that the no one, one has able, been able to find. Can wow. you find it? Da 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 da. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Do the slide shuffle. Well, his foot. When you do that, it does make little notes. So, it is a dance. Yes. Um, what did this get me? Uh, whatever that fire thing is. It's a rope. Yep. I was like, I'm gonna do better. Dang it. I'm not helping either. No, it's okay. This is me being just like. This is your first time, so you can like. Talk about it. Cool. I cannot because I see everything. Because I'm just like thieving game, thieving game. Rope. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. There are thief-like concepts in this, but I was talking to my cousin earlier how I mentioned how we were doing this on the channel, and she was like, "I mean, it's interesting you're doing the first one considering it's so different from the rest of the series." <laughs> and I mentioned like I was trying to explain like what was different about the game. And it occurred to me, it was like, you know what? I failed to even realize that some of the voice actors don't even come back in the future. <laughs> so, like, there's a lot of differences. Oh, man. I think there's only two voices that have been consistent throughout the entire series. Which two? That would be Bentley, right? One Bentley's of them? one of them. And then Sly. Okay. So, so those are quite literally the only two voices that come back. Huh. So, again, like. Good on them. Yeah. So, there's a lot of changes, but it's interesting because you can like go from game to game and be like, you have a new voice, you have a new voice, you have a new voice, but the characters are, are still the same and similar. So it's kind of funny when I just realized I these are cats. Yeah. When I first played Tales of Symphonia 2, it was jarring when like only one of the original voice actors came back. Yeah. Which made it easier to disassociate that crappy game with the first <laughs> one. <laughs> it's no. amazing how that happens when you have such high expectations from a previous game, and then it just doesn't meet up with them. Oh my gosh! I mean, it's like the first Tales of Symphony game, it's my favorite game of all time, and the second one just assassinated all of the characters' character. And that's why I'm excited for Beyond Good and Evil 2, but also has, like, a fear. It's my. I have that shirt that's like one fear. <laughs> one fear! <laughs> What fear? <laughs> I'm actually really excited to see what they do with Beyond Good and Evil. If, but at the same time, I think it's probably back in uh, development Del hell. I mean, probably. Because, like, they didn't but... say anything this year, and it's like, well, <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. back to the way it was. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Come on, Sly. Hit him. No, you I mean, because. He's know, doing his best. I mean, because, again, just about Beyond Good and Evil, you know, that was a. Well, screw you, too. <laughs> Game over. I know. I mean, because that trailer was cool, but until they show any actual gameplay, it doesn't mean all that much, you know? Yeah, there's a streamer I watch where he basically oh. says, no. where he basically says, no gameplay, no game, no hype, pretty much. Yeah. Which Fair is, enough. Which I could respect. I can but, respect that too. 
but I, there's a part of my childhood soul that's like, that's that's my game. But I'm also the kind of person where I will see a trailer. I'm like, oh, that looks cool, but I don't see any gameplay. But I'm still like, it looks cool. The concept's cool. I like the idea. I like the idea of it. And even then, it's like, just because you have gameplay, that's not a guarantee of anything since plenty of games have been canceled. I mean, we even did have gameplay the- once upon a time for Beyond Good and Evil 2. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. We did? We did. I didn't even know that. Yeah. It was a long time ago. Huh. I can't even remember what it looked like. It showed I um, Jade jumping off of, like, across rooftops in this, like, deserty like kind of location. Uh. It was really, really cool, but it didn't show enough. Gotcha, yeah. What I like is, like, it's... I think they've done... People have done it a few times, but I like when you see, like, live gameplay footage... Because that's authentic, you know? Mm-hmm. And I actually kind of appreciate when games bug out and glitch and shit during, like, conferences. Because I'm oh, yeah. like, it kind of proves to me, oh, yeah, this is happening. This is real. Yeah, it's a game. It's still being developed. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, it's not gonna... So it's like, funny enough, the more glitches I see, the more I'm, like, believing in the game. I'm like, yeah, they're making it. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a game. Good. Which is unfortunate, but... Because, yeah, the first time I was exposed to the whole idea of games getting cancelled was with StarCraft Ghost. It was just We were major into StarCraft when we were as kids. It's like, StarCraft Ghost, it's gonna be so cool, and it was cancelled. Yeah. It it happens, unfortunately. Yeah. No. Oh, oh, no! No, 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 Hello, alarm. Die, alarm. Farewell, alarm. Uh, did you guys watch it? So this is like a, a sometime after E3. Did you guys watch any of the E3 stuff? Um, um I just, just like kind of read what games showed up. Yeah, I did the. I watched. I mean, I watched the direct. I guess. Yeah, the, the Nintendo, Nintendo one. But and that's I, just because I can kind of skim. <laughs> maybe I should say I watched some of the trailers when I saw oh new Fire Emblem trailer. I watched that. I've yeah. I watched the Animal Crossing announcement. Yeah, same yeah. here. I watched the um Pokemon. The Pokemon. That one. was E3, right? The Pokemon. They did. They yeah, they did have some Pokemon, but not yeah. much. I watched the. Smash Bros. character Yeah, Smash Bros. Yeah. reveals, like, Banjo. Yeah, like, Banjo. <laughs> so, like, I was, like, super pissed when they showed the first bit of Banjo, and then it's oh, like, yeah. Duck Hunt Dog, and I'm like, I'm gonna kill Nintendo, because I thought they were gonna be bringing someone back from, like, the Duck Hunt Dog, like, that uh, time period of games or something. I'm like, uh, Nintendo, I swear to God. <laughs> well, it, it's similar to the King K. Rule. Yeah. But, I um, I watched all the conferences. <laughs> So oh, bless I heart. want some of my life back <laughs> because <laughs> there were some conferences where I watched it and I was like, oh, I can't believe I wasted two hours watching this. Oh, no. Like, which ones were that bad? I don't think I should go into detail, but I remember hating Bethesda. <laughs> that just sounds like Bethesda in general right now. Right now, Bethesda's not in a great place. But I'm convinced Bethesda hired a hype, like some planters for hype. Oh, in the crowd? I think this is a natural conspiracy, but, like, I'm convinced of that because throughout the conference, you can hear basically just one guy being like, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> or just uh, like, Whoa! <laughs> I, I believe it. That, that I was, was like, oh my gosh, when is that guy going to get escorted out? Because, like, I feel like people would be like, okay, you're disturbing the conference, you shouldn't be here. I feel but, that way. But he was there the whole time. Like, why would they allow him to be in there? And I'm like, oh, they hired him. What if they... No. Oh, we missing one. We missing one, unfortunately. Uh, Okay, so we're near the beginning. I... So we started over. So let's just look around as carefully as we can now. And don't die because... All the enemies will respawn. But right now we killed them all, so most enemies should not respawn. That's the plus side of like these loopy levels. Going being able to loop back or backtrack in some of these levels is that you can do that and look around and be like, okay, where could it be? Where could it be? Um But uh there was some other stuff. I'm interested in looking into Astral Chain, I think is what it's called. Astral Chain also looks interesting yeah, to I, me. I, I like the I, I like the look of it and Switch. Um, oh, I'm also really excited. They finally announced a new Tales game. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for. I was actually gonna ask you guys about that. Like, what do you guys think? Does it? Um, okay. um, because I, I looked at it and I was like, I like it. I'm excited. But for, for the record, I do think it looks good. I just 
the design of the main character just isn't wowing me. What I find interesting is in the trailer, the girl looks like Layla from Tales of Zestiria, and the main character pulls a sword out of her like Gaius does in Tales of Zelia. So I'm like, oh, is this going to be tied into those two games somehow, or is that just borrowing an idea to expand upon? Because I mean, I'd be okay either way. Um, with he, like, I didn't watch the Tales of stuff because I just kind of left that to Luke because I was just reading titles really like. Okay, is there any that catch me? If there are ones that from our series, like Tales of, uh, is... Look behind you real quick, Luke. Sorry. And uh, Breath of the Wild was... I was just like, yeah, that's going to be on my list. Like, I don't have to read about it. Bro, yeah, we were actually talking... So, we, at work, we... Some of us sneakily watched the direct. We didn't get behind in our work, but it's because good. we're good people, but we did sneakily watch the direct. That's the way to um, be. Oh, shoot. I think we have a horseshoe. Yeah, I wouldn't wait on those, honestly. Um... So, I got to see some people's reactions in real time, which was kind of great. Uh, and a lot of the coworkers started talking about Breath of the Wild, like, oh, like, maybe they're going to, like, do an underground thing or whatever. Like, they should probably change the map a little bit because to make it worth buying. And I was like, you guys all make great points. 100% honest, though. I will still probably buy the game if it's the same map. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> so. I'm actually just, um, like, I haven't beat Breath of the Wild yet because I think it was when I was playing, I kind of got overwhelmed so i'm like hey i need a break or i'm gonna yeah. hate it so i got not touch it and then i just started playing other Zelda games and i'm like i'll get back to it later I yeah mean, i only just beat breath um, of the wild but um from what i'm remembering in my brain space from the vibe i was getting i'm like i am shocked that they're actually making a direct sequel to it yeah it, it, it got didn't... it was so popular though and no and exactly but it was just like Huh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm surprised they didn't go make a prequel to Breath of the Wild well, or something. I, but. I also think it's, I think a sequel makes sense based on the ending. Oh, okay. Personally, but... I'll have to take your word for it for now. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get uh, back to you. When yes. I'm yeah. I'll talk to you later. But, uh, uh, I mean, I personally thought the ending seemed really conclusive. For... It did, but it also... So now I've seen if you If you get everything, you get like a little sneak peek of like oh. what they're planning on doing in the future, which I think ties in to what we saw in the trailer. Okay. Okay, um, I haven't actually watched the trailer. I just know that it was a thing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really short thing. Should, it was really it, short. Yeah, you I, can watch it and you'll... Ah, oh, man, I loved it, though. It was good. But, so, like... Uh, no, I love that I there was this meme know. going around of, like, the little skeletal head spine thing from Spongebob. <laughs> Someone just put Gan Ciara. It's like, Gan, and in Breath of the Wild, too. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was like, yes! I have not seen that, <laughs> actually. I just know that... I've seen a lot of artists start like posting like, "What if it's Ganondorf, like Geru like Gerudo Ganondorf?" And so everyone's like, "Well, let's draw what he would have looked like before he became that weird skeleton thing." And so everyone is drawing him hot, and everyone's like, "I love hydrated Ganondorf," and I'm like, "I do it again." I'm like, "You fools act like he wasn't hot before, just to be because he wasn't shirtless." Bra, I I read this comic on Tumblr that I adore for hot Ganondorf. Yeah, seriously, because <laughs> it's called um oh shit. Tale of Two Rulers, I believe. Let me pull it up on Web Comics because she's on there too. Oh posting yeah. Posting it. Just a sec. I want to give. I want to say this right. Cause, fuck it. I love it. Okay. It's good. I, I uh, yeah. See Tale of Two Rulers. Uh, by Fidget Form. Figment Form. Excuse me. Figment Forms. I fucking love this comic. It's uh, what if um, in order to like save the peace, keep peace. Ganondorf and Zelda got had an arranged marriage. Oh. And I love it. <laughs> and Ganondorf's so hot. It's not okay, but I mm. Here, I'll, real quick, I will look up to see where the bottles are. Okay. But we'll be back when we find the bottle. Now I gotta go look at Hawk Ganon in just a second. <laughs> <laughs>